global relief from the pressures of home and relief from the psychological pressures of aging. I thought um, Professor Dai mentioned this social knife for help for them to keep their language ability. This, this is the example. <laughs> so I think uh, through this um, Guangchang Wu, but um, at Guangchang Wu, um, square dance, uh, they arouse some kind of controversial. So such nowadays uh, in every <laughs> community have this machine to test their voice, how loud. Um, but um, this is the visible and direct window through which we can observe public aspects of China's aging society. The other um, channel is the mass media. We are in the mass media society and uh, um, the media is the message. The media is the extension of man. So through media, we can see a larger future world. You can see from this BBC report and uh, the, the graphic from uh, BBC, they talk about the, the typical family structure in the prison and um, near future in China, they say four to one family structure. <laughs> and uh, basic uh, statistics from the United Nations show the population pyramid is be becoming a kind of pagoda. <laughs> yeah. um, so this phenomenon around great concerns at home and abroad. We can say that major um, world press media such as Fox and uh, BBC and NBC, all of these um, media, they uh, wrote a lot of articles to, uh, to describe aging people's problems. Um, be because of these media reports, I became increasingly concerned about the big issue that China faces, which is how can aged people in China can make their daily lives meaningful. So <coughs> um, let's, let me talk about one case and, uh, to clarify the process of my collect, uh, collecting data. Uh, this, with the big issue of aging weighing on my mind, I worked for, uh, I looked for opportunities uh, to collect the data. Um, last summer, my friend Yang Li, uh, who's an associate professor in Sichuan University, invited me to visit a rather unique place where a small number of eight people pass their time and ensure their welfare. Um, before visit, I learn, uh, I get some background information from her. I then develop some keywords to frame my preliminary assumption and question. This is temple, retreat, eight people, religion practice, physical health, mental health, and unknown factors. So I asked myself how these ingredients to put together and what is the real situation? What are the potential problems? Um, when we get there, we found this um, this uh, place is about one hour drive west of Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province uh, in southwest China. And the, the town's name is uh, Bai Tao, Bai Tao Zhen, uh, whose name is um, uh, derived from the saying Bai Tao Xie Nao. Yeah, you know this <laughs> word. And take a look at the, its uh, constructions. Uh, this, uh, this complex uh, includes three main parts. Uh, this is the Da Xiong Bao Dian, Xiran Hong. This is incense burner, um, Fen Xiang Shi. And, but you can see from this, from this picture, uh, 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 Da Xiong Bao Dian and the incense burner is very simple in construction. So we can tell uh, its function is not like ordinary temple. Um, this part is very obvious and very, very important. This is a nursing home. Uh, it has uh, four floors 
and uh, each floor has kind of bedroom, and um, from they, they bed from very from one bed to three or four beds. So the people there um, can choose to live alone or live with others. Uh, also, they have some basic utensils <coughs> such as uh, washing machine, and they have hot water shower, and they even have different toilets, so can meet different needs. This is the donor's name who uh, inscribed here. And uh, the main donor is Chen Xiuqin, I will talk later, and uh, her son, uh, one of her son is a local mother. <laughs> and so, um, after we um, um, to, uh, 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 visit the uh, architecture, I will do some interviews. Um, this is the the formal in, relative formal interview with the Chen Xiuqin, this, this woman. And this is my friend, uh, Professor Yang Mi. And uh, um, it, it, it is a heroine. <laughs> She's a heroine in local people's mind. Um, we asked her some formal questions such as, uh, would you please tell us uh, your personal experience? Uh, how was your son able to find the temple complex? Uh, how expensive was it? How long it did, did it take to complete the buildings? Uh, and these questions. Uh, um, basically, we, we, uh, in order to in, in widen our scope, we ask them open-ended questions and close-ended questions. We we'll also interview some uh, sojourners there, um, but you can say this, um, this interview is not too formal, just like some kind of chatting. Because uh, Yang Li and I are female, so although we present ourselves as scholars, they still regard us more like daughters <laughs> or um, younger sisters. Therefore, it was uh, easy to access the eight female women and initiate dialogue with them. We call them the, the older ones, uh, like Liang Liang, <laughs> and uh, the relative of uh, those young, younger is uh, Da, da Ji. <laughs> uh, we, we also um, talk with them um, Sichuan dialect. Um, Mm, don't we um, talk with them Mandarin or, or standard Chinese so we can keep close distance. And sometimes we, we help the women to arrange their bed sheets and uh, or hold their arms uh, while walking or chatting with them. From these conversations, we learn about basic personal information. Uh, such as why they choose to stay there, uh, the nature of their routine life and basic activities, uh, the benefits they gain from the activities, uh, how they view physical illness and uh, their psychological problems, and how they view death. We even talk about these things. Uh, we, we also discover then the meaning of because they always mention the word Wang Sheng Ji Le Shi Jie, and literally going toward the land of extreme happiness. So this is um, uh, where our uh, formal and informal interview, and uh, also uh, participate in some initial observations of these events, because uh, the sojourners told us they believe in pure land, Abino uh, Buddhism, and uh, so the most important activity uh, for them is the recitation of Buddhist scripture. Um, you can uh, see from these pictures, uh, when they walk slowly like a circum, circum bam, man bonnet, yeah, <coughs> um, they recite one sentence, Omitopo, Omitopo, uh, very, very slowly, only the, uh, the sentence uh, and uh, walk slowly. So
So it is said that the Pure Land is a popular religion's practice in part because it is very easy to participate in the case by seeing only Omitopo. <laughs> Uh, apart from the daily recitation uh, routines, there are some special days for rituals, such as celebrating the, go the goddess of mercy, Guan Yin. Uh, usually, the rituals include any three activities. Uh, one is Sui Xi Gong De, Rejoicing Invention. We discovered that visitors from all over, they will donate money or gifts to the temple. Um, so we took pictures and to find out uh, the amount of each donation and the total income generated during the event. The visitors also gather together to share a vegetarian meal. Many local ve uh, villagers come to the kitchen to give a hand. Um, so the vo volunteers uh, told us they believe um, the accumulate blessings and good fortune from Buddha uh, by making food for others in this temple, in this event, during this event. After th this is there, uh, gathered together to have this big lunch. <laughs> uh, after lunch, or special days, uh, some people participate in the activities uh, called praying living beings. I don't know how it's popular <laughs> among Taiwan, but in mainland, it's very popular. It's yeah. popular for, for Buddhists. Yeah, for, yeah for, 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 for Buddhists. I think in mainland, maybe ordinary citizens, such as me, <laughs> or my relative, and ask me. Oh, I surely said for, for people who believe in the Buddhism yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. virtue or philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very important. So, um, I think we, from this practice, uh, maybe I will observe, we can further understand how religions participate influence the relations between body and mind. So after um, when I doing uh, this field work, I'm wondering how common is this type of retreat? Uh, this uh, temple nursing home, and uh, is the case exceptional? So I must find out more information. Then I uh, went to uh, internet and found uh, there's some, um, uh, this type of temple nursing home model is becoming popular elsewhere in China. Although I have yet to establish <coughs> the extent of popularity. <coughs> But they call on um, the name is Lian Fo Yang Nao Yuan. Yeah. And uh, here are some examples of uh, how this kind of temple nursing home are uh, being represented on the internet, uh, the, um, the uh, main official media. And uh, the commentators um, get positive reviews about this model of care for aging people, always. You can, oh, from this title, you can say very positive. So, uh, as I said, I am only in the initial stage of my framework and uh, from other disciplines. <laughs> so, there are a lot of questions that need to be studied further in this case. This includes financial problems. Uh, safety and caretaking and welfare and insurance religions. So many questions uh, need to be studied in the later. Um, in this case, I believe these problems uh, can be um, explored uh, through more field work research and more data. In the big data age, it is said data is new oil. I think that how to make good use of this new oil matters to one's research goals. So I think Professor Dice's <laughs> um, research is very complicated and very advanced. advanced. I just uh, give some examples 
and uh, maybe uh, Professor Dai can uh, use your theories to analyze my <laughs> case, <laughs> help me to understand uh, it more. And um, finally, uh, because uh, uh, today's topic is about language and aged people, so I'd like to share <laughs> Share one of my mother's uh, folk poem. My mother is uh, 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 85 years old, and uh, she didn't accept uh, too much higher education, but she very optimistic and um, open-minded, <laughs> uh, like social event. Uh, so next year, she wrote about this um, poems about her home and. Uh, Four children's home. They they say my sister. They say my mine, <laughs> and uh, they say my two brothers' home. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this um, this is um, uh, her home. Um, nowadays, uh, I uh, translate one. <laughs> In, uh, hope you enjoy my mother's <laughs> poem. Thank you very much. <laughs>